swim, do a back somersault, and then back to your kit, yeah? OK. Dan rose to the challenge and undertook something that I think you know, many adults would have been fearful of. He was brilliant. We obviously wanted to get as much practice in as possible for the underwater stuff, so we trained for about six months before. We started off not very deep at all, just in a normal, quite shallow swimming pool. It was great because I just could go down there and be confident. We all wanted it to look as natural as possible, and so that's why we trained for so long. And then I was ready for the 20-foot tank. How's that, Dan? <laughs> yeah, it's great. Yeah, very good. Fantastic. Yeah. Being youngsters, we needed to be able to create the under, underwater environment, so we designed and built this tank. It's a very complex piece of equipment. The tank itself holds about half a million gallons of water, which is two and a half million litres. It's probably the best tank in the world for filming. With Dan's in, go straight over to the rocks with Dan. That's Dan descending downstairs here. When I actually went in, it was so vast, so much more so than I had actually imagined. Dan, so nice and slow on the way in. Dan also has to worry about one other thing, which is performance. You know, it's all right swimming around like a fish, but Dan eventually has to give you the, the Harry Potter performance.